believed my greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in my long war against Superman. While his powers were drained from constant battle, sending him into space to recharge from the Earth's yellow sun, I struck. But my obsession had blinded me to the real threat. To Earth's true enemy. Cyborg, concentrate fire on Luthor while I call down some artillery. Deathstroke, time for you to join the party. Something? Greetings, sister. Had returned. 
For years, he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors, but we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived a rat in the walls of the Brainiac construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it! What have you done, Luthor? Given you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. I've stolen Brainiac's exobites and released them into Earth's atmosphere. They hold the powers stolen from the heroes and villains of my time and will bestow them on anyone they contact. The Exobites will create a new breed of superhuman to fight Brainiac's invasion. You must teach them to use their new abilities, for they must be on the front line in the coming battle, or my grim future will become your own. I only hope I am not too late, for I will not be here to see this new future. My work is not yet done. I must leave this Earth to you. Claim the Exobites, and take destiny into your own hands. Targets identified. Select a gender and body type. Hello everyone, and welcome to DC Universe Online. Now you might be wondering, Josh, why are you playing this game? We've seen DC Universe Online. We've seen the trailers, we've seen people play this game. Well, I was thinking, hey, for those folks who haven't seen it, maybe they'd like to see somebody just play the game. Um, nope, I don't want to do any uh, walkthroughs or best ways to do things. I just want to show people what it's like to play the game, to have fun with the game. And also, most of the videos that I've seen, other than walkthroughs and builds and easiest ways to find exobytes and stuff have really been all very early game playthroughs or beta playthroughs and you know they've put out many many DLCs since then and 26 game updates and I thought we might as well show off all the new advances they have done to this game and just have fun with it. So I hope you guys like this series. I really love this game. If you are a DC Universe fan, uh, you know, DC Comics, all that, then this is a great MMO for you. And it's so striking, some of the stuff, especially that trailer. That trailer at the very beginning, just the opening sequence, is amazing it's just wonderful to watch it and I cannot get tired of that trailer uh, intro and the voice acting is phenomenal they've gotten tons of prolific actors for the parts for them unfortunately Hamill has retired so we won't hear the Joker anymore the his Joker anyway but let's get started here so I was gonna show you guys my character and that'd be fun and all but I really want to do like a from basics to at least level 30 kind of character give you kind of the basic idea of the game if you've never played the game before and just give you an idea how much fun it is and just how interesting this game is of course it's an MMO so it's not say Borderlands or uh, Tomb Raider or Resident Evil or any game like that. It's, it's an MMO so missions and stuff in it are fairly similar and fairly linear. Uh, you, you go do something for somebody but this game does actually a pretty good job at 
changing up the missions and giving you enough variety that you're not just exhausted by, well, I have to go find ten bear asses and bring them to this guy. Oh, but that's not enough, so you gotta go get ten more. Now, there's not really any of that and you can collect all the missions at once and do them all and then turn them all in at the same time so you don't have to go to a guy do a mission then he tells you oh you have to do a very similar mission you can kind of get it all done at the same time which is really really nice but let's before I keep rambling on and on about how great this game is let's get started here so I'm gonna create a brand new character for the world to see and we're going to make this character the greatest character that's ever existed. Um, so, I'm going to do male because yeah, I'm a guy, you know? I, I'm, and it would be kind of weird if I just ran around the city as a girl, you know? To me, it's kind of weird anyway. Alright, so, I'm going to be a guy. Oh, God. I don't know if I really want to be that big, though. Um, let's look at the sizes, though. And speaking of sizes, yeah, you get three different sizes for three different builds. So you get small, medium, large on each of them. So you have the brute, who's a, a brute, big muscle guy, bruiser. Then you have striker, which is basically like the uh, middle build. But it doesn't. None of these affect how you play or any of that or any of your skills. It's just how your character will look when you put gear on him. Um, so you got striker, and then you have the spark, which is kind of like a teen character um, or a young character. But I think I'm gonna go for a medium striker, cause you know middle of the path sounds pretty good. You know, just right down the middle, uh, gear will look pretty decent on me. So. Uh, Select so. Exobyte download type. Create a custom configuration or imprint using data from an Earth hero or villain. Oh, cool. Alright, so um, let's go ahead. You can do inspired by if we wanted to. Select a hero or villain morality. And we could do Batman or Superman or Catwoman or Lex Luthor or the Joker, which. That's like the creepiest looking Joker I've ever seen. Like, yeah, it's that's the creepiest Joker I have ever seen. Um, the Flash, Wonder Woman. <laughs> if you're a guy, you that just looks silly on you. Um, Deathstroke, go in as Deathstroke. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Bane, maybe? Or Cersei? Or Beast Boy? Mr. Freeze? Uh, Steel? Manhunter? Green Lantern? No, these all look kind of cool, but I think we should do a custom one, just so we can make our very own character. And really, during the game, you will rarely stray from a character unless you really are intent on playing as a specific looking character. Um, most people will create their own design and there's so many styles to be had that it's really impossible for you not to want to make your own distinct style. So let's go ahead and do a custom. Select a hero or villain morality. Mm. Hero archetypes include selfless saviors, warriors for truth and guardians of justice the choice of villain and hero morality determines your allies and enemies in the world um okay here's the deal i've never really been a great villain <laughs> i have a villain character i just the missions in the game never really seem villainous to me some of them do, but not completely. And it's it's an MMO, and it's not a mature game. So the villainry is more mm, Adventures of Batman, you know. Uh, the Joker can't shoot anyone, so 
it, it kind of takes it away from it. But I've never really been a great villain in the first place. I've always been kind of... Kind of a lame villain. I always... I always try really, really hard. And it always comes off a little fake. So, I'm gonna go with Hero. Just cause... Being a hero is fun. You get to do all the epic stuff and people congratulate you for it. So, let's go with Hero. Select a personality to determine social behavior. Alrighty. Uh, heroic and villainous. Or heroic or villainous. A powerful personality shows a strong, forceful nature. Personality choice does not affect combat skills. Um, so these are basically just how your character stands when he's prepared. Or just standing there for battle. Let's see, so we got the we got the comical guy. The gamical guy, he'll he'll tell you a joke. Doesn't really look comical. Just just kinda kinda lean in there, you know, and standing around. And you got the flirty guy who's like, yeah, yeah. Hey baby. And then you got the primal guy. He's just ready to go. You got the serious guy. He, he See, that's that's more of like a villain stance. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's really more of a villain stance. He's just ready to crush somebody's skull in. And then you have powerful, uh, which is just pretty much the standard, where you just stand there and look good. I think I'm gonna go powerful. I guess this character is gonna be a little bit vanilla, but hey, you know, vanilla ice cream can't really have a Sunday without it. Anyway, um, so you get to pick a mentor, and that's a big thing in this game, is your mentor gives you very specific uh, mission types from level 1 to 30. So you level through very specific missions for them. Um, there are some that mix and match between them, uh, which undoubtedly would happen, but Otherwise, yeah, they give you very specific missions to their backstory and their world. I don't know which one I want. Well, I know which one I want. But I've played Batman so many times. And Superman's a good guy. And I played him a little bit. His stories are pretty good. But you know what? I've never played Wonder Woman. And... I think that might be kind of interesting to play as Wonder Woman. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. Let's. You, you think in Wonder Woman, the uh, magic followers. Sounds good to me. Select power group from available exabyte data to determine combat role. Now here comes the fun part, because now you get to choose what your power is, and that power is very important to your character. Depending on what you do, it will distinguish you as a specific um, power type. Um, depending on what you choose, you either end up, you have, every character has a DPS role. Uh, you just deal out damage, you're supposed to keep the mobs down, keep the bosses down. That's the important bit for DPS. But every single power type has a secondary role. And that would either be defense, which is like a tank, or healer, or controller. And controller gives out power to the team and gives debuffs to the enemy and just keeps the team powered up, pretty much. That's the biggest part of being a troller is everyone needs power and you have to keep them powered up. And I've played Troller a lot, and I've never really played Defense or Healing. But I think, since we're only doing probably level 1 to 30, unless you guys really like this series, and then we'll go beyond that, but I think we'll just stick to a DPS role. So we can pretty much pick any power type we want. So what do we got? We got Earth. We got electricity. We got fire. We've got gadgets. 
Gadgets are fun because you get to use like all Batman's kind of type of gear or Lex Luthor's type of technology and stuff. Then you have ice, kind of like Killer Frost or Mr. Freeze, depending on how you look at it. Then you have light from the Green Lantern Core. Um, then you have mental. Use your mind powers. Nature, of course. And then you have the brand new power that has just come in the most recent DLC. Um, and that's the quantum power. Which is, uh, bend time and space to gain control over your enemies. Oh, that's so cool. And then you have sorcery. But, you know, like I said at the beginning, I think we should do this to show off all the new improvements they have in this game. So I think we should go all the way to the newest stuff, including quantum powers. So I'm going to go as a quantum character. And then you get to choose a movement mode, and this is how you travel. And it affects how you do in combat, but it also kind of acts as a... Uh, Oh, in other games you can get, like, animals and stuff to ride, or creatures to ride, and it's your mobility. You can get around the city that way. You don't get a car or anything, so, but you get to do, use these powers and move around the city a lot easier, which is always kind of cool. So, I've done acrobats, and acrobats, in my eyes, is probably the best. I mean... You get a jetpack, you can have grapple line that'll just yank you up to the top of a building in no time at all, um, or grab you from one building to another and pull you straight into it. It's really the best one, but I kind of want to do something that's a little bit more interesting, and one that I always was interested in was flight. I never used a flight character because I was never really interested, but if he has quantum powers and he can fly, that'd be kind of cool. So let's do a flight guy. Select weapon specialties from available data. And then probably the most controversial part of most characters. I see people all the time arguing over what's the best weapon, which one does this, which one does that. Certain weapons give you certain bonuses, supposedly. Um, and I'm pretty sure they do. Certain weapons give you certain bonuses depending on what you are playing as. And, um, but really, if you're good with a certain weapon, you might as well stick to it. Because if you're better at that weapon, you're not good at the one that probably would help you a little bit more. Just a itty bit more. It's not really worth it if you're going to have to struggle. So, let's go through here and look at the weapons. You got bow, which could be like Green Lantern. Or uh, brawling, you can just beat people into the dirt. Uh, you also have dual pistols. A bit more of a villainous type thing, but of course there's Huntress who uses dual crossbows. and uh, Red Hood, if you count him, he's more of a uh, an anti-hero. But he uses guns. Then you have dual wield. You can wield two weapons in your hands, uh, usually a sword or a staff type thing, batons, um, or like uh, knives and stuff. Then you have hand blast. This one's an interesting thing. This is kind of like a, kind of like Iron Man's um, hand uh, blasters. Yeah. So that, that, that one's kind of cool. Then you have martial arts if you just want to beat down on a guy. Uh, One-handed. You can just swing an axe into a guy. You have rifle. And that one's that, that one's a bit Rambo. A bit Rambo, yeah. Then you have shield. That's, uh, that's one of the new weapons that they put in, is the shield. And then you have staff. Staffs are kind of cool. And then you have two-handed, you can get a colossal weapon and just swing it around. Get a giant hammer and just bash guys into nothing. But, like I said before, we're going to go for some of the new stuff. The new improvements that they've done. And that would be the shield. 
very interesting weapon. Very Captain America. Yeah, very Captain America style uh, weapon. And uh, I think we'll uh, we'll do this one. Shield sounds kind of interesting. Display download summary. Appearance options now available. Modify any category as desired. Accept download when ready. So this part here is basically you uh, you go through and you can choose what kind of costume you want, your your body, your gear. You know what kind of skin do you want? Do you want to be a leopard? Or do you want to be glowing or barbarian? Or do you want to be made out of rock? That'd be always cool. Um, since we're doing kind of a quantum character, why don't we do a guy that's been through time and space, through time battles and stuff, and he's probably from the future and got his body fixed somewhere in the future after a terrible, terrible, terrible accident. So I think we're going to go cyborg. Looks really creepy. His face is quite destroyed. But... You know, we can stick a mask over that and fix that. That is not a problem. Or maybe we should go robot. Ooh. Then he really is from the future. He's given up his body to be in a robot shell. Or maybe it's an exosuit. Oh, so much to choose. Let's see, what do you think? Cyborg or robot? I'm leaning towards cyborg. He's a little creepy looking, but you want to send fear into your enemies. So let's go cyborg. And then hairstyle. Oh my goodness, there are so many hairstyles that it's unimaginable. Um, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll we'll just make him bald for the time being. That sounds good. Look at that. Look at the head there. It's like he's got robotics just built into his brain. So cool. And then you have head, of course. You can choose whichever type of head gear you want. Uh, you can be a biker or a bio hunter. And you can wear just a mask if you want. Uh, and then you got face. You can put some like shades on or some goggles or some glasses. You, get, you can put all sorts of things on your face. Put a crazy clown mask on. Uh, then you get an emblem. Emblem, it's it's not very creative. You got to get the creative ones in game, doing races, and we'll talk about that later. Races, um, but you can you can put some kind of cool stuff on there. You can't customize it, but that would leave for a lot of people uh, putting some uh, naughty pictures on their chest. You know what I mean? And that's not what we want. Um, and then you got your chest piece you can choose whatever kind of style you want you could be like a metal head with a spike collar um, you can really do a whole lot you could be a military guy that'd be kind of cool um, and then you got your back you can put a backpack or your cape on you can have all kinds of cool stuff on your back you could have arrows if you wanted to if you want to go for like a green a green arrow or a red arrow type character be kind of cool then you got hands you can choose uh, what kind of gloves you want to wear and then waist you can choose whatever kind of waist type you want uh, you can have some pouches on there nothing really at all um, and then you got your legs you can wear some pants or you can wear some tights or some some uh, I think there's some shorts in here too or you can go in your bare underwear yeah there's some shorts there Gonna go suntan in my uh, robotic legs. And then you got feet. And you can wear whatever kind of shoes you want that they allow you to. Uh, this is all starter stuff, so it's not the best in the game uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's all starter stuff that you can get really cheap uh, in game. So, what I'm gonna do, because as fun as it would be to watch me argue with myself about what I want this guy to look like. I'm going to take a little break here, and you guys will get to see what the character looks like after I'm done screwing around with it. So we'll see you back then in a minute. Alright guys, I'll be back. Alright guys, so this is what I ended up coming up with. I did kind of a green and black and white style thing, 
Not like super creative or anything, but you know, it's a good start for our guy. He's got some uh, glowy green eyes. Oh, and uh, I ended up swapping out from the uh, the uh, cyborg to a robot skin because I thought it just looked a little bit better in case we change our um, helmet and stuff uh, or our mask so it's not so weird looking. But uh, all right, let's uh, let's go. Download successful. Hmm. This really is the most difficult part, coming up with a name. What kind of name could we give this guy? He's got quantum powers. He fights with a shield. He can fly. He glows green and he's from the future. But he's got to be something interesting. Some sort of interesting name. What if we call him... Let's try that. Time in reverse. Error. No! Somebody stole our name. Alright. Well, we gotta pick a new name then. Let's see. What what name could we get? Hmm. Let's do. Quan Te Ik Strike Quan Te Strike. I like that. That that sounds good. Yeah. That one was free. All right, Quantic Strike. Oop, cutscene. The center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. Of course, some non-essential information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. There is no intellect strong enough, or power brutal enough to resist me. Soon, this planet and all it contains will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobytes are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. This is a new obstacle. These humans resist my assimilation. My conversion units cannot hold them. Let the humans use their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. We will defeat Brainiac. All right. So where are we going now? Ooh. Let's see what happens. There's the Joker. Um, all right. Yeah. Now, if you've never played this game, this is where you start out. You get to. The Ooh. hack worked. I'm in, and you're awake and free. Whew. Okay. I'm Oracle, and we are going to get you off this ship. Look for a doorway out. Hey, bad woman or bat girl. Um, alright guys, 
let's just take a look at the character for the moment before we uh, move on or anything. Ooh, that is cool. All right, and then we... Uh... Oh, just by the way, I'm using controller because uh, this game was also for PlayStation 3. And uh, for whatever reason, it lets me use an Xbox controller. But it, it's usually because it's on Windows and it, Windows kind of requires it. Um, but kind of floats weird. It's kind of weird, but that's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm using it because there's a lot of like jumping and running and turning and stuff in this game, and it feels a lot better, kind of like a platformer or whatever with uh, a controller. It's it feels really nice with a controller. Everything's a lot smoother that way. All right, so we can just strike stuff. Fire pure energy out of my you know, beat on stuff. Alright. Do I do I have any powers yet? No, we don't have any powers. We must have forgotten our powers in the time travel. We've lost a lot of our powers. For whatever reason we can only do this. And that. And that. Alright guys, but that's pretty that's pretty much it. Um for the the little uh, powers that you start out with. You start out with very little. But, um, I think we're going to take on that guy in the next episode. So, stay tuned, and I will see you all next time for the next episode of us playing DC Universe Online. Take care, everyone. <laughs>